Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. Well, this is more sinister talk from the government, or should we just call them the servants of the corporate overlords? They are now saying that if you have been offered the jab, but not taken it, they are going to send around some people to persuade you, as they call it. They're going to send around the persuaders. What form of persuasion are they planning on using? Here we have in the Times, Nadim Sahawi, the jib jab minister. It says, vaccine refuseniks face visit from the persuaders. Now how sinister for a title does that sound? And why are they using the term refusenik? It says here refusenik was an unofficial term for individuals, typically but not exclusively Soviet Jews, who were denied permission to emigrate primarily to Israel by the authorities of the Soviet Union and other countries of the Eastern Bloc. Why are they using that term? Anyhow, it says here people who have not accepted vaccination offers could get knocks on the door from council staff in an attempt to convince skeptics home by home the vaccines minister has suggested. He said the NHS was already trying to identify to individual level the people that we need to reach to ensure that all over 70s had a chance to get a jab by February the 15th. He told MPs that he wanted to then use councils to seek out those who had refused offers and see what might convince them. After local authorities successfully deployed door-to-door -door contact tracers to find people whom national services struggled to reach. So you decide that you don't want to take the vaccine and now you have these persuaders who will come round to your, to your home, knock on the door and they say try and change your mind, try and persuade you. When in reality what they mean is to pressurise you into getting it, pressurising old people into taking a jab that they probably don't want. And for, for a fair enough reason. I mean, how is that conversation going to go? Um, why do you not want to take the vaccine, sir? Well, maybe because it's an experimental vaccine that's not been tested for long-term effects. That's a fair enough reason. And YouTube, it is an experimental vaccine as can be seen in this Moderna documentation which they ask you to sign in the USA. It says, I recognize that the vaccine is experimental and has been authorized for emergency use only by the FDA. These clowns come knocking on my door and they will be told in no two ways where to go and how to get there. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to HugoTalks.com and I'll see you later. Oh, and I may have an exclusive Odyssey uh, bit shoot video uploaded later on this afternoon on them platforms only. See you later.